Cooper Hefner, the son of the late Playboy founder, is throwing his hat into the political ring. The businessman has launched an exploratory campaign to run for California's 30th Senate District. And Cooper Hefner is joining our show right now. Cooper, great to see you as always. Uh, okay, so I got to know, where are you guys at in the exploratory process right now? And are you officially planning to run? I am officially planning to run. We are officially planning to win. We launched uh, July 13th and uh, have received a tremendous amount of support from people within the district as well as throughout California and nationally. Uh, it's been a, a very positive announcement and response. Well, that's of really, course, it's that's really go good ahead. to hear, Cooper. I just was going to say you're jumping in uh, after serving in the Air Force. What made you decide you wanted to do this? Well, the two are certainly connected uh, in the sense of the motivation to enlist in the United States Air Force Reserve and serve um, was very much uh, coming from the same place of, of having a desire to publicly serve and engage in community service opportunities. This is a different form of service, but um, certainly not far from uh, that same road. Uh, Cooper, I want to talk obviously about one of the big issues that's hitting your state in particular, and that's the coronavirus. Right now, your state has hit a new daily record high of COVID deaths. I'm curious what can be done to really address the situation in your state, and what is your view on the leaders in Sacramento right now in terms of how they're handling this? Well, Mayor Garcetti and Governor Newsom, I think, have done an effective job of uh, trying to address this issue rationally and recommending wearing masks and listening to the experts. And uh, as a result, uh, we have not seen as much of an impact as we would have, even though the numbers are increasing. I certainly uh, believe in, and I'm following the, uh, the suggestions as well as recommendations of uh, folks who are experts uh, in the uh, medical industry and uh, the guidelines that the CDC have suggested uh, that uh, we continue to practice uh, safe distancing. Uh, my interpretation uh, is, is that unfortunately this has been politicized far more uh, than it should be. And right now I'm, uh, as much as I'm concerned about the numbers that are continuing to increase, I'm worried about the homelessness crisis that uh, California has been wrestling with for years prior to COVID uh, being dramatically exacerbated because of uh, mortgage and uh, rent defaults that will be coming if there is not a federal response that is coordinated with the states uh, at a local level. Uh, that is a, a incredibly concerning uh, uh, factor that is on the horizon that uh, needs to be addressed. And of course, uh, I, I don't have a lot of uh, faith in the current administration at a federal level, and um, I'm concerned that it's going to impact our communities here in California as well as communities across the country. Yeah, Cooper, I'm glad you bring up the homeless situation in L.A. because a lot of my friends in Southern California are pleading with government officials to help in, in that area because it's, it's, it's become a really terrible systemic problem that's happening there. And the big worry, Cooper, is especially with a lot of people not being able to get PPP uh, funds extended, uh, that they might not even be able to pay their rent next week. How do we solve this problem? It has to start at the federal level, and I'm not trying to push the burden away from local and state officials, but there is just no coordinated effort uh, that can effectively impact the lives of as many people that need to be impacted at this particular moment uh, if the federal government is not organized and managing the response effectively. And we have seen uh, them drop the ball on that since the beginning. I'm hoping that there is uh, an agreement uh, with the follow-up to the CARES Act, which was passed in March, that allows for people to receive the support that they so desperately need. And then there's a larger conversation uh, following around why the state legislature and why California generally has not been able to actually address the ongoing homeless crisis. The homeless numbers, specifically in Los Angeles, California, from 2019 to 2020, jumped 12%, uh, that there are over 60,000 homeless men and women throughout the county, and those are numbers that are pre-COVID. Uh, so this is a challenge that uh, state legislatures have not been able to actually uh, solve, and an issue that has not been appropriately addressed and has been made worse by COVID-19. Uh, certainly hope that people uh, who are our current representatives are able to get their ducks in order and 
address this issue because at the end of the day, if they don't, uh, our California families and families nationally are going to be uh, impacted negatively. Uh, Cooper, I'm running out of time with you. I only have about another minute or so left. You've also said you would offer tax breaks uh, for companies that help our communities transition to a green economy. How optimistic are you that we're going to be able to battle climate change with tax breaks like this? Oh, I think that the government absolutely needs to play a role in investing in public good and infrastructure that allows for us to collectively benefit. That's a part of the role. That's that's a part of protecting and providing. Um, the climate crisis offers a tremendous economic opportunity if we want it to and if we have elected officials who are willing to shine a light on uh, the issue and actually propose uh, innovative solutions and actionable plans that allow for us to move in a positive direction. There is a lot that can be done by investing in uh, talent and uh, entrepreneurs and new business ideas that allow for us to move in a direction where jobs are created and uh, we are moving away from uh, fossil fuels. Uh, because again, as uh, we all know, there's no long-term plan uh, for those resources. So I, I see the climate crisis as, as a wonderful uh, opportunity, as unfortunate as it is. Um, and that's in line with the way a lot of other uh, younger, more thoughtful uh, folks who either are serving mm -hmm. uh, the public or who want to are thinking. Yeah, Cooper, great to have you here. Thank you so much. Cooper Hefner running for California's 30th State Senate District. Great to have you here on Cheddar Politics.